and welcome at Maths Workshop. In today's video, we will have a look at a model kit which comes from the StarCraft II video game. This kit has been sculpted and mastered by Yan Shuan, and as we are going to see, this is really a masterpiece. Here you have the design on the box, and you can see the kit which has been assembled and printed. For what I know, this kit is no longer in production, so if you have a chance to grab your hand on one, don't hesitate, because this is an awesome kit. Let's start! Here we have the main body. As you can see, this is a really nice and big part. You have a tail, you have already all the fittings for the different arms and legs and also the holes for the wings are already done. On mine, we can see that some job has already been done. I don't know if it was common on each kit or if it is special on this one. As, and as you can see, the sculpt is really amazing. Lots of detail, lots of different skin and armor sheets. To paint. What we can see also is that we nearly have no mold line. As we can see, if we have a look here, we have a remain of it somewhere here, perhaps here, but almost nothing to send and nothing here. Sorry, we have it here and nothing to nothing to, to change to get the kit ready to paint. Let's have a look now to the two legs. So we have here the leg and the second one here. Again, there are lots of details on it. We can see some armor plates and some organics. I don't know how to say some bubbles or some kists which are coming from the leg. The other one, the left one, has the same design. Again, almost normal line. We can see a little here, but almost no mold line on this leg. And as you can see, the fitting is already really good. So what you have to do is just glue it or add some rod to pin it in position. Let's have a look to the base now. I protected it with some foam because there are some sharp parts which will be destroyed during manipulations or storage. As you can see, this is really a cool design showing the mucus which can be seen in the game and this mucus is almost in live and we can see that we have some monsters or some parts of monsters coming out of it. This is really a nice part and it will be really fun to paint. Let's move now to the two front legs. So here we here they are. We have the left one, the right one. Again with the pinning position already done. And as you can see again, the sculpt 
is really amazing, really nice detailed and it will be really fun to paint. Always interesting to see the transition between between those parts and the or more organic parts here. Really amazing. We can now have a look to the two front arms because this creature has six members. Here you have the two front arms. Really nice details. All of this will be red to show some skins really aggressive. This is the part where we have the biggest mold line which will be treated but nothing bad regarding the size of the kit, the number of parts and the work which will be done in the putty sand stage. Really nice part and those two are going here and here. This is also something amazing which the sculptor has made is that each part has a fitting point to attach it. As you can see I have the second one. If I try to attach it in here I cannot put it in the right in the right position so they are only mean to be assembled in one position and only in one and this is really really interesting now we are going to take a look at the wings this is an upgrade you can do on your zerglings in what in starcraft to add some wings on them to help them climb some hills and here you have two of the wings as you can see they are transparent they are going to be really interesting to paint we can see that they have been sculpted really nice really looking like a, a bug or B wings, really interesting. And here are the two other ones. And to end this presentation, let's have a look now to the face, to the head of the monster. So it comes in four parts, so you have the main part of the head with the inside of the mouth which is sculpted, lots of teeth, lots of spikes. Again we have a pinning point which allows you to put it in place. We have here the lower part of the mouth with the tongue, lots of teeth. Here is how it will look once assembled. I have an injecting an injecting injecting point here, so it will go more deeper in position. But here you can see the look of the beast. And there are two parts remaining for the head, which are the horns, which are, are again really nice sculpted, no molded lines at all. And interesting thing, the pinning point are already different, which is going to make the assembly easier. So this one goes here. This one goes here, and if I put the mouth here, you have the head. Really 
really really a nice interpretation of the design made in Starcraft 2. I am going to start this kit after this video so keep watching my my post on Facebook and uh, I will move forward on this build. This is definitely a masterpiece to have. Again, if you have a chance to grab one, don't hesitate, jump on it. This will be really, really a big beast, bad looking and really impressive. So, I would like to thank you all for watching this video, taking the time to have a look to this kit with me and uh, see you soon for more Starcraft kits, Star Wars kits or other subjects. Take care and have a nice day.